Hi there. In this programme, we'll be looking at what every horse has to go through before heading off to the races. Every trainer has their own daily routine, which all their horses go through week in, week out, to get them fit and into peak condition. But when a horse has been selected to go racing, the pattern changes just a little bit. Each week, trainers have to decide which of their horses will race, and there are many factors to be considered before making this decision. The fitness of the horse, the distance of the race, the race course itself, the ground, and the type of race. Horses are, after all, athletes, and they're treated as such. Unless it's an early closing race, like a grade one race or a major handicap like the Irish Grand National, generally trainers will enter the horses five days before racing. If the horse isn't right for that race because of injury, illness or altered conditions, then the trainer can change his or her mind and withdraw the horse. Horses are declared at 10 o'clock in the morning before the race. And up to this time, the trainer can withdraw the horse without financial penalty. So it's really important for the trainer to get it right. And also for you to keep an eye out for any last minute changes. If a trainer suspects there may be something wrong with the horse in the days leading up to a race, then a vet might be called in. The vet may check the breathing of the horse or look out for any little oddities that could affect the performance. A massage is, of course, a great way to relax a horse and put it at ease. The farrier will call by to take care of the hooves before racing day. Horses' hooves grow like our own nails and they have to be filed from time to time. The farrier will also take off the routine working shoes and replace them with special ones which are called racing plates. They're much lighter and usually made of aluminium. On the morning of a race, a horse may be rested and excluded from riding out. It will need to preserve all its energy for the race, and it also reduces the chance of injury. Some horses, however, will have light exercise just to stretch their legs. The horse will be washed, brushed and shined up, and its mane may be plaited. Every trainer and groom, of course, want their horse to look the very best at the races, just like us humans. Most races have a best turned out cash prize. It rewards the stable staff who turn their horse out the very best. These are highly sought after prizes and a source of immense pride for the yard. In its stable, the horse's legs will be protected with padded boots in case of a knock when traveling. Because trainers often have more than one horse traveling, they're loaded securely into the trailer or horse box lorry in a side-by-side -side formation. On race day, some horses have a longer journey than others, depending on what part of the country they're coming from, so plenty of time is given for travel. On arrival at the race course, the trainer will unload the horse and check in to the pre-race yard. Well, whenever I check in, I need a passport. So does a racehorse. In fact, every racehorse has to have a passport. It carries vital registration information and it shows the horse's record of vaccinations and medications. And if it's not presented on arrival, the horse can be disqualified from the race. Every racehorse has been implanted with a tiny harmless microchip and the corresponding information is on their passport. The racing industry is highly regulated so as to make sure that everything is correct and above board. In the pre-race yard, horses are walked and last minute checks are made before tacking up. The trainer will come back from the weigh room where the jockey and saddle have been weighed together. Real attention is given to tacking up. Everything has to be just right. The saddle has to be comfortable for the horse and jockey. If anything were to slip or become loose, it could mean the difference between winning and losing. And for owners, trainers and jockeys, winning is what it's all about. The horse is led to the parade ring where the race goer will see it for the first time. Most horses are used to this environment, but occasionally one may be spooked. It's a busy place with photographers, visitors who are in the ring for the first time, and lots of hustle and bustle. The horse may be unfamiliar with something and feel agitated. This is where the trainers want their horses to be seen in the best light, looking confident, bright and relaxed, but also alert. The jockeys take over from here as they mount and head off down to the start. If it's a flat race, every horse will have gone through a stalls test. It will have been tested to see if it can enter the stalls without causing upset to itself or any of the other horses. If it was unable to do this, it wouldn't receive its certificate and it wouldn't be allowed to race. So this gives you just a little insight into what a racehorse has to go through in preparation for a race. After that, it's all in the lap of the jockeys and the racing gods. Till the next time.